the volume. Now, how to measure liquid? For measurement of liquid, we have standard instruments like measuring cylinder, like various standard cups which are marked. These cups and these measuring cylinders are known as calibrated vessels which are used to measure liquid. You go to uh, some shopkeeper or you go to milkman, you will find various other kind of instruments which they use to measure 1 liter, half liter and they have a markings on it. So these instruments are called as calibrated vessel for measuring liquid. Even sometimes with some medicines, you will find a cup on the top which is calibrated to measure the medicine. These are very small quantities so they are in amount. Milkman, they require bigger quantity so it is measured in liter. How to measure the uh, liquid? I have one calibrated instrument with me. It is called as measuring cylinder. Now you can see a liquid is filled inside it. If you see, you have a curve shape boundary on the top as I pointed out. How to measure this curve shape shape boundary? This curve shape boundary is known as Millet's curve. Why it is made? Because air exerts pressure from the top. So the liquid which is in the middle it goes down and there is a raise in upward direction. Now this is called as Millet's curve. How to read this Millet's curve? We will go and learn in black board. Let's come to the board. Now here you can see two calibrated tubes. They are glass tubes. So you can see meniscus very clear cut. This is called meniscus. Now meniscus as I told you has to be read from the lower part. The curve is made by uprising of the liquid from the sides. You have to put your face just in front of this meniscus your eye should face this meniscus now read the lower portion of the curve which is giving you a correct reading now here in this particular tube the correct reading is 83 ml and that you will get once you put keep your eye just in front of meniscus now go for the figure b here you can see the calibration of tube is 6 and 8 that means 7 is in the middle portion of 6 and 8 that you should always pay attention now read the meniscus how you are going to read first bring your eye just in front of meniscus then take the lower portion of this meniscus as your reading here in this case it is 7 mh you can repeat this experiment it at home. What you have to do kids, you have to bring one glass vessel very carefully. It can be a glass in which you drink uh, soft drink. You place a ruler just beside it. Mark your reading as per the ruler. Kit, like this with the marker pen. It can be 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. Now you can use this as a calibrated vessel for yourself. You fill up the liquid. Observe the curved meniscus which is formed. And try to take as correct reading as you can by just placing your eyes in front of meniscus. Do try this at home. I hope you will enjoy this. If I will show you here, you can note down this reading as V1 which is 60 ml. I will do one experiment with you. Can you see this? This is an object. If I will put this object inside this liquid, wow, one splash. Now, you read this reading. This reading is 71 ml. This, consider this reading as V2. Now, if you subtract V2 from V1, you will get the volume or of water A. And that is equal to the volume of this object. So, liquids can tell us very well what is the volume of your 
corner of it. But, and I think you will enjoy doing this at your home also. You can make a rough calibration with the help of your ruler and do many more such kind of experiments in any of the glass cubes like this. I hope you enjoyed the session. So do like it and subscribe my channel. Wait for next more and many more interesting videos and activities like this. See you in next video. Till then, bye bye.